Hi, Jan. Okay. Hi. Um, and good morning to, to all of you. Um, and thank you, Scott, for, for the nice introdu introduction on our software as well as on the news of AutoCAD 2015. Um, very interesting. Um, as time frame is quite short, I will jump right into the VirtuServe introduction. Um, uh, VirtuServe can be summarized as simplicity by adapting laser scanning to existing workflows. And uh, I'd like to give you a brief overview on the general um, uh, functionality of uh, our VirtuServe software. Remember, it's the standalone uh, piece of laser scanning software that we provide. Um, we will have a look at the scan formats that VirtuServe supports. It supports almost every format. And um, VirtuServe comes with a photo-like scan view, which is easy to navigate. And you can use it to fill in forms and databases. And as Scott already mentioned, you can create AutoCAD drawings. And I will show you how. And you can do that even without needing to load the bulky point clouds into your CAD system. And Jörg will then later go into more detail on BIM modeling using VirtuServe and uh, Revit. And another functionality of VirtuServe is creating a field book. And I will explain what this is used for, too. Let's start with the scan formats. So um, here you, you can see which formats are supported. Um, it's the generic format like E57, but also the proprietary formats of Faro, Regal, Leica, Solon, Fröhlich, and uh, Topcon as well. And with a PTX format, you can, via a PTX format, you can also get data in from, from other types of scanners because many manufacturers' uh, registration software packages allow export of PTX or um, E57. And VirtuServe also, uh, VirtuServe project management allows you combining scans from different types of scanners in one single project with, and enables you to do measurements across the single scan boundaries. Only precondition is that um, the scans need to be registered in the same coordinate system, of course. And, uh, once you've imported the scans to VirtuServe, you can use them. Uh, to fill in forms works that way that you measure coordinates and distances inside the photo-like scan view and then um, directly send them into the Windows application of your choice. And this way you can send them to Excel sheets or any databases and uh, or simple uh, word forms or tables. And you can fill those in with the information from the scan data. As I mentioned, you can create CAD drawings as well. Um, here, a brief um, sketch of how it works. On the left, you see the photo-like scan view. And by running uh, commands, um, the coordinates are picked and directly sent into the CAD system. And uh, the geometry is uh, simultaneously drawn. Um, this is something I really like to demonstrate briefly. I uh, have started my widget server, put it on the left side, and on the right hand side you can see BricsCAD, which is one of the CAD systems we support with WordGeoserve. And um, those who already know WordGeoserve, earlier versions of WordGeoserve will notice that uh, this screen is new. This is WordSurf version 15, which will be available uh, next Monday, May uh, 26. And uh, I will just open a recent um, project and open a few scans. And you will also notice that they are opened in full screen mode now, which is also a nice um, new feature improvement. OK, and I will start. Oh, just open the um, BricsCAD command bar. You can see some prepared macros which um, are provided when uh, with um, 
WordJSurf, but you have also options to create your own macros. The two down here I have created on my own. And I will just run the line command in order to create the outline of the walls of this uh, room we can see on the left. And you can see on the right down here that in BricsCAD the line command has been started. And I will just zoom in and pick two points on each wall and you can see on the right hand side the geometry is being created right away. And Let me just switch to the neighbor scan in which you serve to pick the outlines over here. And yeah, with BricsCAD we don't have a uh, very intelligent commands that automatically um, sharpen the corners, but uh, with other CAD systems like um, in AutoCAD uh, and in combination with uh, PointSense, we do have intelligent, more intelligent commands that sh automatically sharpens the corner. I uh, will just stop sending um, coordinates over and zoom to extents. You can see um, like uh, how uh, geometry is being created. I have also um, have a I also have a template in in my BricsCAD drawing for for blocks of lamps. So um, when I want to insert lamps, I can do like this, and uh, you can imagine that uh, using those tools, I can quickly get a nice um, layout plan of my building just by using the laser scan without needing to load the bulky point cloud into BricsCAD. BricsCAD itself doesn't have any uh, point cloud import options, so um, which is, uh, is a nice addition and for working with the laser scans in BricsCAD, for instance. Um, let's have a look what else, what other kinds of CAD packages are supported. Uh, we have three different kinds of uh, possibilities to send uh, or to connect to different CAD systems. There is the generic Windows link. Uh, with that we can um, access every CAD that allows for some kind of uh, copy and paste um, version of, of get receiving data like, like Rhino 3D or IntelliCAD clones like GSTAR CAD to name just one. They do have command lines and are able to receive in that way. Um, then VirtuServe also provides direct links uh, into AutoCAD LT, BricsCAD and Revit. And um, as already briefly mentioned, uh, you can create code field books with VirtuServe and this way you can have access to uh, other CAD systems like Geograph, Kuvadis or Carson or even into um, Civil 3D if you have the import routine for that one, just, just to name a few. Um, let, me, let me show you um, the functionality of the coded field book. This uh, picks up a proven method of surveyors who until now measured their objects with a total station using coded points and in order to automatically create a finished drawing when reading the data into their CAD system. Um, those people can now also use laser scan data to create coded point lists and thus um, um, their familiar workflow is not only supported with total stations but also with laser scan data. It looks like this. You have the photo-like scan view. We have the field book um, form on the right, and you select a code for the point, and then click it in in the scan. And um, VirtuSurf is collecting it in in the field book, and you can configure the field book and export it to the format which your import routine in your CAD needs. And then when you import it into in your CAD, the drawing is automatically created. Um, 
so far from my side with the introduction of VirtuServe. I will now hand over uh, the microphone and uh, the screen to my colleague Jörg. Um, just a second. Hello, Jörg. Take over, please. Yeah, hello, Jana, and hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for this nice introduction to VirtuServe. And now I want to give you a closer look to the uh, VirtuServe uh, Revit link. Um, with this link, we have uh, in VirtuServe integrated tools for generating architectural BIM elements and construction helpers um, to use this directly inside your Revit. How does it work? So, on one hand side, you have in VirtuServe a Revit toolbar with uh, specified commands using Revit. Um, if you know VirtuServe and you know the AutoCAD or Windows link, um, there are customizable macros in AutoCAD or in Windows. Um, in VirtuServe, we have a predefined set of tools um, using together with Revit. And in addition, on the, one, on the other side, in Revit, we have also a Revit add-in, uh, which communicates uh, with VirtuServe and which uh, adds some more options and commands uh, to the Revit. And in version 15, uh, coming out next week, we have an additional option dialog. Uh, which provides some um, more setting possibilities like the, the type of an element or the, the point mode as well as some uh, command options. So you will see this in a few minutes in a demo. Okay, let's have a look to the BIM elements, the 3D elements uh, we can create with VirtuServe. So we are able to generate uh, levels, uh, walls, doors, windows, opening and new in the next version. Also uh, structural elements like columns and beams. And for most of these elements you need just uh, two clicks. And how this is going on I can show you in a short demonstration. So. Um, on the right hand side you see VirtuServe and on the left side uh, Revit with the empty uh, Revit project and now I will start the send to Revit command in VirtuServe so the, the Revit command line appears here and first I want to create some walls and you can see here the new option window where I can set up my uh, wall type and have command options. I will choose uh, continuous wall and now I'm starting to create these walls here by um, clicking two points on the wall face. Um, the height of the wall is set up um, by you um, choose of the levels or we also have a uh, so-called auto level mode that means that the nearest levels at the bottom and at the top of the wall uh, will be linked to the wall. Okay, so now I finish here. Um, I can uh, close this gap here and now I want to create a window so I switch to the window command and here again I have my list of all families uh, that are predefined in my uh, Revit project and for this simple window I use the, um, the, um, the option for the diagonal points and click two points in diagonals and see the window here and now I will insert this uh, column and here I choose the option by uh, rectangle and so I need two points on one side of this rectangular column and a third point on the other side
come to a beam and for the beam I choose the option horizontal so you can insert structural elements also in 3D but for this beam I say it should be exactly a horizontal beam need two points on the front face and two points on the bottom face and now I can uh, trim the end of this beam to my walls like this. Okay. Um, the last element in this demonstration, oh, let's uh, attach the column also to the beam here. Okay. Um, last element of this short demonstration should be a door and uh, in this case we cannot use this diagonal uh, option because you cannot specify the right point here so I use another option for four points in the reveals and with this options I have to use my point modes I will explain uh, the point mode uh, in more detail in my presentation uh, afterwards so for the moment I choose now perpendicular point mode and I can click a point here in the reveal and on the floor and here and for the fall, fourth point I choose intersection point mode and then I can click a point exactly on the edge and now you can see here the, my inserted door family. Okay let's go back to this presentation and have a look to this point modes you have seen right now um, you can see here I click the points uh, not exactly on the wall face but with the point mode I can uh, say that Virtusurf should use for example in this case uh, the perpendicular point um, to the active work plane and if you choose um, op uh, openings like windows and doors then VirtuServe will choose the wall face that is in front to the scanner position as the active work plane in Revit and second option the intersection points um, is similar so I can click a point on the edge and if you click um, next to the edge behind here some, some for example here then the point that is used from VirtuServe will intersect with the active work plane like this and this way you are, have, you are more accurate to, con to generate elements in Revit and these points mode are usable with nearly all other virtual surfer Revit commands. Okay, let's have a look to construction helpers. So we are able to generate 3D detail lines, 3D model lines, um, construction points, and you in version 15 also um, set up uh, free work planes. And you can use these elements to generate any shape you need in Revit and this I am going to show you in this short video here with this staircase. So we started uh, creating some 3D model lines uh, in front of the steps of the staircase. You can see it here in Revit uh, the lines and after that you can start your Revit command. In this example this is a stair by sketch and with the pick line command you can choose or you can select the model lines you have created with Richardson before and use these lines to model your staircase or any other Revit object you need. Okay, staircase sketch is finished and here is the 3D stair element. Okay, um, one new option in version 15 is the ability, the possibility to uh, send elements to the Revit family editor. Uh, in Revit, a family 
uh, is a class of elements. So you um, need these families to define your building elements like windows and or columns or doors or beams or any other elements. And um, usually Revit comes with a big library of predefined families. But if you are in a ASPL documentation, um, you come really fast to the limits of these predefined uh, family uh, elements. And so um, you have to create your own uh, families from scan data. And now this is possible with VirtualSurf. And in addition, you are also able to load small point cloud regions into the family edit. This is something you cannot do with the Revit point load engine itself. So we have here a new tool to give you the possibility to bring point clouds into the family environment. And I will show you this also in a short demonstration. So I switch to another um, document. This is a family template for window and I open another uh, Virtusur project, facade, and I want to model this window here. And now I'm starting with some model lines. So um, for the family environment, you can uh, create some uh, construction helpers. And we start with this arc at the top. You can see here I use also the point mode perpendicular. That means I create points exactly on my active work plane in Revit. And in the moment, my active work plane is the front face of the wall. And one last line horizontal here. And now we'll go to uh, Revit. And let's adjust this uh, opening by editing the um, profile. So with the pick line tool, I can select all the lines I've created with VirtualServe. And then with the modifying tools, I can adjust it. And let's delete the old one. And you can see it here in 3D. And in the same way, you can create more model lines for all the frames and millions and model this window. So what I want to show you also is the insert point cloud option. So I prepared a point cloud file. It's in the PTS format. So the PTS format is a common point cloud format. You can export PDS from VirtualSurf or you can do it from Recap and with uh, VirtualSurf you have also the possibility to export point cloud regions out of your project environment if you have inserted a uh, Recap point cloud. So I choose this here and now we have some um, import options so I will uh, go to only uh, second point so it's a bit faster for this demonstration and for positioning I choose VirtualServe coordinates. What does it mean? So if you start modeling a project or a family you can set up a VirtualServe project coordinate system so that means that for example all the lines from my um, scan coordinate system comes exactly to the middle of this uh, family um, template and if I choose now by which is a project coordinates my point cloud will also be inserted uh, relatively to this coordinate system and just need some seconds and here it is and now you have a 3D point cloud region inside your web, um, the family environment and you can use this for detailing your family. And if you are finished with this, maybe you can look like this. And now you can use this family in your project and 
um, insert it in all the walls with the virtual serve commands or with your Revit commands. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. I want to show you two more features of the Revit link. First of all, this is also new to version 15. Uh, now VirtuServe supports the definition of a shared coordinate system. So in Revit, um, you have behind the project coordinates also a shared coordinate system um, that you use to link models or CAT drawings uh, into your Revit project. And now it's possible to set up such a coordinate system with VirtuServe and you can use this to insert point clouds or link models or CAT drawings that are all in the same georeferenced uh, coordinate system and so it's uh, pretty easy to uh, collaborate or to use other linked documents in your Revit project. And last but least for the Revit link, I want to give you uh, an overview of how you can combine VirtuSurf and Revit tools for your uh, modeling workflow so it's uh, very easy to export all the scan positions from VirtuServe to Revit and then you can open your scan views out of your Revit project and this is also shown in a short video here. So you see the Revit project with some walls and here are the imported scan positions uh, this information comes from VirtuServe and this uh, scan position is a family symbol uh, with a hyperlink to the um, scan file or to the project file from VirtuServe and if I open this hyperlink VirtuServe is opened with the right project and opens also the right scan and then you can simply start your modeling uh, from the scan view and then close VirtuServe, go back to Revit, and if you need, open another scan view. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the whole VirtuServe, and I want to give you a summer, summary of the features you have seen. And with VirtuServe, you uh, get a very, very fast and intuitive software working with uh, laser scans. Uh, it's a versatile software and it's hardware independent so you have um, many different import formats and you are uh, able to combine uh, scan information from different scanners into one VirtuServe project. It's uh, cost effective and you can use it for many different CAD systems and